What is going on people and welcome back to a brand new game find on this channel and today's video um, is a small pickup video uh, between two charity shops that I went in uh, this weekend on Saturday. Um, obviously um, if anyone knows I do these in weird little batches of game find videos. Um, this was just before the Trico uh, Community Day on Pokemon Go. Uh, got my watch on, uh, it's actually on charge at the moment but the strap's there. Um, managed to get 18 shinies, which wasn't bad in, in three hours. Um, but yeah, ignoring Pokemon Go, going back to game find and pickups. Uh, for £1.50, I picked up a, I'm going to guess it is an official uh, Miss Pac-Man um, plush teddy. Um, dated 2018, I guess. So it's kind of new. A um, little bit dirty. Needs a little bit of a clean up. Um, paid £1.50 for it. Only reason I picked it up is I'm potentially moving soon. Um, moving in September. Um, I'm going to have my own games room kitted out. Pac-Man was a big part of my life. And Miss Pac-Man on the Mega Drive was one of the games I remember from years and years ago. Um, so I'm either going to have it on my shelf in a lot of my videos, maybe. Or failing out, I might sell it. Because... Being greedy, uh, these are selling on eBay for eight to ten pounds. Uh, realistically, I want it on my shelf because it's a cool little. It's it's it it fits perfect on a shelf. It's a nice little corner piece on a on a shelf. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nifty at one pound. Uh, picked up a superhero hat for my sister's boy. Uh, mad on superheroes at the moment. Paid ten pounds in total. The hat I think was a pound, um, but I paid. £10 for the remaining items in this pickup video. We're only two minutes in, so uh, yeah, might be under 10 minutes in this video. Um, a Blu ray a DVD, Legends of Oz, um, Dorothy's Return. This is a complete um, and sealed, you know, it's it's it might have come from the power shop, I'm not sure, but um, it's got some decent names in it. Uh, Dan Aykroyd's in it, Patrick Stewart's in it, so. For a pound, it's new, um, we're gonna give it a watch. If it's no good, um, I'll try and sell it off, I think, but realistically, that's a, a kid-friendly film that I can put on my shelf and watch whenever. Um, again, going back to my sister's boy, who's a mad um, fan of superheroes, DC and Marvel, mad on Batman. Uh, Lego Batman film, the movie. Um, I'm not sure if he's got this already, but for a pound, I thought I might as well pick it up for him. And if he does have it, I'll put it in my Batman collection. I'm not a big fan of um, expanding my superhero collection with like the Lego films, but uh, I have seen it and it's a good film, so it will go in the collection. Although, do I put it under L for Lego because it is Lego Batman, or just put it up the top with B for Batman? Anyone that knows me knows that my collection is in alphabetical order. Um, the last DVD that I picked up was um, Luther Series uh, 4, I believe. Um, and as you can see, I paid a pound for it. Um, I don't normally pick up DVDs that I've got very little interest in. I never watched this when it first came out and I haven't watched it since. Um, I don't know how many series there are, but I do know that CX will pay two pound cash, three pound voucher. Uh, implying M rules, it's probably worth a fiver on um, eBay being sealed. Um, I'm probably looking at somewhere, maybe a little bit more, six to seven pounds. Um, so realistically, I bought that to bring some of my money in for the rest of this collection. Um, the remaining games, I've got two of them. I know I've got two of them, and I always get confused with the remaining. So I'm going to show you what I got in the Xbox bundles first. The Simpsons game. Um, anyone that's been on this channel for a while or have gone through some of my weird playlists I did I think two episodes of me playing the Simpsons game um, Probably about three years ago now. Um, I think they're about 15 minute long videos um, It's quite fun for me to re-watch them. I also find them a little bit cringy like most people would um, I don't know what it's like for a random person to watch um, but yeah it's a fun game to play, some decent achievements in it. Uh, it's a really, really decent game actually. So yeah, maybe EA need to bring out a new Simpsons game. That'd be good. Um, and the other game, that was two pounds. I don't know if I said that. The other two pound game was Skate 3. I haven't picked this up for a while. 
Um, it is, I believe, complete. Last time I picked up a skate free game, I think I sold it for 12 to 15 pounds. I'm not sure if that's the same as it was when I bought my last one, um, but I still have my one on my shelf. And every so often I do go back to playing it because in all fairness, it's like Tony Hawk's, but on modern consoles. So it's, it's a really good game to play. Final two uh, games, final two items in this bundle are PS2 games that I paid £1 each on. I'm not sure if I've got this game. I don't know if I've got it. I don't know if it's complete. I don't know if it's in good condition. But either way, I'll probably swap it out if I do. Um, Jack 3. This is in really good condition. It is also complete with its manual. And if you look at that manual, I mean, it doesn't look like it's even been pulled out of the, book, uh, the case before. Uh, and for a pound... Realistically, I don't like paying more than a pound a game, uh, but I know that's a fun game to play. So yeah, paid a pound for it. I'm I'm just really tight with my money. I'm, I I refuse to pay t stupid money on things. Um, I've paid more than a pound on on games before, especially on PS2 games. But yeah, the Fairy Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. Uh, never heard of it before. I'm a big fan of um, Timmy and. Uh, yeah, I used to watch this all the time as a kid. Proper nostalgia for me. Uh, 2005, so probably been hitting teenager point at that point. Yeah, I used to watch that on Nickelodeon all the time. Um, so, yeah, cool little bundle of items in today's pickup or this weekend's pickup. Um, if you. Uh, we're playing Pokemon Go this weekend, or whenever this video comes out. If you were playing Pokemon Go for last Community Day, tell me how many you got in Shinies. Did you get any 100%ers? Um, what kind of level are you in Pokemon Go? And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Comment in the comment section below. If you disliked it, thumbs down. Or if you don't care, thumbs down. Anything's good for me. Um, and then hopefully next week's video might be some Game Boy games. If the price is right which i'm not 100 percent sure on yet but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video like i said it is a under 10 minute video which is shocking nowadays on this channel uh but yeah thank you so much for watching